So now we will install WordPress onto our URL. Click on the WordPress, click install, and select the URL where you want to install your WordPress. For example, I want to install it on tutorials.academichosting.ca. You can select any of your URL. So I will just give my site name as tutorials. And I will give admin username as tutorial as well. You can set your password. And here you can input your email address. And the last, you can add your email address again and hit install. So it will take few seconds to become active and get installed. Once we are done with this, you will get two, two URLs over here. One is your user interface and the other one is the admin where we will, where we will be developing our website. So click on the admin one. So you will get to dashboard. So this is the main page where you will be developing your website. So I will change some settings before I start. I will go into the settings and I will select permalinks. I will change it the common settings permalinks for post name. So what it will do whenever I create a new page, it will set the page with the same name the that I have selected, not with some numbers. So, if we go to the default pages and see any of the sample page, it will look something like this. So we need a theme for our website. I will install a new theme. You can add a new theme. You can select any of the themes below, but I am going to upload my uh, from somewhere uh, from somewhere from the web you can select the file from here over here So I will hit install now. I will leave the link below if you want to same, choose the same theme. So it will take some time to upload and install on your website. So now it's unloading. It's unpacking the package. Once it is done, you will have to activate the theme. Hit it activate and your theme will become active once you hit active you can see your sample page it will change so if we go into the pages let's start from the scratch i will delete all the pages that are already pre-built over here and add a new page for example i want to add tutorials And I will hit publish, publish again. So I can view my page from over here. So this is the page that we have made. So let's edit it. I don't want the site logo. I don't want this search. So let's just move it. So get back to your dashboard. and go into themify ultra once you install the theme you will have a new tab themify ultra over here or whatever the theme you install so go into theme settings select theme appearance i'm gonna exclude the site logo exclude site tagline exclude search form so let's just see what is happening to do that, I will open a new page 
and refresh it so let's open the tutorial page to view, view a page just click on preview over here and preview a new tab so this is a page and we have removed the site logo from over here let's remove this as well the search on the sidebar to do that get back to the theme settings again and head to default layouts default page layout and select no sidebar from over here hit save and reload the page you see the sidebar has gone so I want to add a picture into my page we can do that when we turn on the builder once we have turned on the builder you will have a tab on the on the top and a sidebar on the side you will see there is a rectangular bar here over here this this has a purple circle and orange circle the purple circle is indicating the rows and the orange circle is indicating columns so for example i want more columns then i will go into the settings and select two columns from over here once i do that i have a orange circle here and orange circle here so i can add two things over here but let's add one thing first for example i want to add a picture i will click add and select image so we can upload any of the image from upload files over here let's just get to unsplash get to the website unsplash.com for example let's just add this one download free and select the same file so it is uploading select the file and insert file URL so here we have a picture for example I want to add text into our website we can do so so we have to hit the plus icon on the bottom we will have another row so we now have another row on the bottom so to add a text you can hit green icon and select text from over here so we have a text column over here so let's copy some text from the website it's just an example this is a lorem ipsum text generator this is let's copy something and paste over text over here you see I have included the text into my website but it doesn't have a space space is very important because it makes our text look nice it separates two things so if I go to if I select this and go into styling we will head to the padding padding is the setting that you will be using the most so if I hit all on the side then we will have the all the all the sides top bottom right and left just change it to the percentage and select for example five percent so this drops my text five percent from the top if I do so from the five on the bottom it will drop five from the bottom if I have something next to it for example I add something else this is the second row after this for example if I want to add a button 
which will link to another page we can do so as well so let's create another page which we will link to this one so head to the dashboard again and hit pages and add a new page for example we will create home page so publish it publish it again and click on view page so this is the home page just copy the URL from the top and head back to your same page and head, hit green icon from the bottom so here we will find which says button you have your button over here you can make it squared circle rounded and you can change the color from the bottom so for example I can change the text over here home page and I can just put the link for the other page over here and hit done and hit save let's see how our page looks like in the real world to do that we can go to the preview from over here once we hit preview so this is the user interface how the user will look at your website so if we hit to the button you will head to the home page but this doesn't have a link to get back and our picture is not if I just want to spread my picture across so I can do that if I go over here and select settings row options if I select full width the photo will spread to the whole website let's see how it looks in the real world so the photo is all over the website if I want to reduce the size of the picture I can do as well in the paddings again In this way I can reduce the picture size but let's not just do it so let's add a menu bar on the top let's add a menu bar on the top for example if I want to add menu bar let's head back to the dashboard and you can create your own menu in the appearance when you select menu from over here you can create a menu for so on the left you can see the all the pages that you have created so hit save select all the pages add it to the menu and use main navigation and save again so I want the tutorials page under the home page I just slide it to the right so this will become a drop down menu I need to change some more settings I can change the look of the menu from over here I will select to the full width column and save let's see how does it look like So if I refresh the page, so this is our drop down menu. Thank you for watching and we will be continuing in the next session.